Okay, let's see what we've gotten for sorties today. I just hope that for once it will just be some quick missions and nothing like defense. Oh, fuck. Sorties are the worst thing that can happen to you ever, and I'm not kidding here. The idea alone of spending hours on missions that are barely challenging for a possibly glorious reward is just insane. I mean, if you want the pure definition of a waste of time, this, this is where you should be. It's the stupidest, biggest RNG grind that I dread the most in this game. Sure, we also have the relic system, which is in a dreadful state at the moment, but at least it doesn't take up to an hour to get a reward you can get literally anywhere else. Because that is one of the biggest problems with the current sortie system. The rewards are an uninspiring load of garbage you can get via better, easier and quicker ways, which are a lot more fun than doing just one sortie mission. So why do I keep doing them? Well, because in that pile of shit, there are a few gems you really, really want to get. Think of Riven Mods, Legendary Cores, and... and, uh, Maybe one of the greater lens if you need to focus? Or a Forma? But basically what draws us to the sorties like a crazy horde are both the Riven Mods and Legendary Cores, which have a combined drop chance of the immensely high number of 20.18%. That's not even 21%, meaning out of the 5 days you're doing sorties, 4 are just a complete waste of time. But we all know statistics don't work that way, so it's even worse. Now you may say to me that, oh, but that's RNG, it's meant to be in there to keep the game fun, and I do agree with that. Research has proven the games are only fun where we aren't perfect in playing them, when we don't have everything there is and we still have an objective to complete. If we manage to obtain every single weapon mod and item in the game, we will become bored and go and play another game, which is also why you will barely find any game out there that doesn't use RNG in any sort of way. But this RNG is atrocious. Yes, this RNG sucks. Normally RNG, or random number generator, is used to present you with a randomly generated number that can't be predicted. This means that no one has any influence over it, making it almost impossible to predict what reward will be presented to you when you do a mission. It prevents players from exploiting the system to get only that what they need within the span of one mission. And that's good, if it was just purely random. But it isn't because developers are able to modify the RNG to favor some outcomes over the others. In other words, increasing the drop chance. See it as a wheel of fortune. The higher the drop chance, the bigger the area of the reward is. The result is that a reward like 2k Endo has a 25% chance to drop, even higher than the rewards you want to get combined. And that brings me to the rewards. Earlier I said it was a pile of garbage, and it really is, if you're fed into the game. Which you will most likely be as sorties now only unlock after you've completed the entirely solar system, and all quests up till the war within. Now the rewards aren't too bad, it's just that you don't really need them, like the 319 lenses or formas. And what were they thinking with the blueprints? Sure, I can understand the catalyst and reactor blueprint, but what's up with the Axelus adapter blueprint? Why can't we just get a complete lit Axelus adapter like in the previous sortie seasons? Anyway. The reward that's the most infuriating and sobbing slap in the face which makes the entire reward table suck is the one with the highest drop chance of them all. 2000 endo. 2000 bloody endo is the worst reward you can ever give to a player for spending an hour on doing long and boring missions. It's insulting and drives you insane as within half the time it can farm the exact same amount in Hirocon without suffering intense agony. It does nothing to help you, adds nothing to your inventory and is so common you can get this for 7 days in a row. <sighs> oh man, just a thought alone, I mean, fuck me. The rewards may not matter too much if the missions are fun, challenging or interesting. I mean, the law of retribution has been in this game for so long that obtaining all the rewards from it isn't too hard. The mission may not even be too challenging for you, but sitting down with a group of 8 people, organizing an all fire force chat, that is something fun to do, no matter what reward you will get. And the premise of the sorties isn't too bad either. When they were released, they were the highest level missions you could do anywhere. Finding a level 100 enemies was uncommon, let alone starting off missions with that level. However, the community progressed beyond expectation, at least that's what I assume, and sorties became easy. People did them without a sweat and could access a great reward pool within half an hour, without faker hacks and sanky targeters modded to the max. So that you had to come up with a way to make them harder, more challenging, and a lot less fun. Welcome to the Pool of Conditions. 
It's a very simple basic idea. If players are able to complete sorties thanks to powerful weapons and an infinite energy supply, just take it away from them. It spawned monstrosities like bow only and pistol only and more of them. But the worst was yet to come. The absolute biggest, terrifying, insane horror of this game. They took the very simple and boring game out of defense and made it worse. Defense had never been anyone's favorite. It took way too long and was generally quite boring. So instead of making it shorter or dynamic like the moon defense, they changed the defense spot with a hostage. A person you need to defend that can walk around and has lost all will to live. The idea of defending a hostage is to be honest quite realistic and good, but the AI makes it so stupidly frustrating it makes you lose your own will to live. Instead of running to cover, hiding or moving to a tactical location, the hostage will just wander around into the battlefield, straight towards enemies to ultimately get himself killed. It makes so little sense, it is so frustrating, but apparently it's in almost every sortie ever, sometimes even twice. Now I don't think sorties are beyond repair, they just need adjusting and loads of it. We have an entire tab dedicated to sorties, so why not make two versions? One which is available to everyone and contains stuff like 19 and 2k endo, and one which is harder, has more challenging missions inspired by raids and does right by you every time you complete it. I do not want sorties to disappear, I just want them to be something to look forward to. Something that you feel is a real daily challenge, which tests your skills and rewards you accordingly. Not an hour long agony for nothing at all. So that's my opinion on sorties, but what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments and tell me what you dread the most in this game. Maybe I'll come around and make it a video for that once. Anyway, that's it for me. Bye!